Hi, this is Patrick Berry from Studio for Dino Linux. Uh, we're currently August the 11th. So uh, today I released a new version of Webcam Studio 0 0.56. And uh, this new release, darn, there's a lot of noise outside. Anyway, forget about that. Uh, with the um, new features we have in Webcam Studio 0 0.56, uh, again, we have a new interface. Uh, I removed the tab preview and instead I simply uh, put a shortcut for the preview button at the bottom of the uh, of the of the application and what about uh, I embedded the uh, source browser on the left so it's it makes it easier to navigate through your video files your images uh, your animations or whatever you have in there, your devices. Um, the uh, the source menu has been uh, has been updated. Now you have. Uh, let let me show. Let me start a desktop capture so you're going to be able to see. Okay, there it is. So, what you have now is the menu sources. <clears throat> I removed the, the the devices from here and now you're you have them in your source browser left under devices sorry my setup is in uh, is in French so you're seeing my French labels uh, see you have your devices your images in my case I ask webcam studio to scan uh, some folders won't be long it should show up there it is and we, you have small thumbnails also showing you what are the images you want to show uh, you have your videos and you have animations locally I have nothing but from the website those are the animations that I have and notice also that you can resize that browser and what do I have more widgets from the website and pipelines those are found locally uh, the, the pipelines actually are WSPL files containing um, um, streamer pipeline uh, see the website for the details but you can use any anything that gstreamer is able to display as a source so whatever you think of if it's graphic it's going to show up in webcam studio so see the website for more details about pipelines and and what do i have over in there audio uh, file that's the same thing uh the youtube browser has been updated but for unknown reason the feed are not working i'll have to look into that there's that's going to be fixed in the next release, but don't know what's happening with YouTube browser. Uh, in the output, we have the same thing as usual. We had the only thing I have more is show the background images, uh, the background image in your feed. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to put that in the top left corner. So you're going to be able to see what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to stop the webcam. So you're going to be able to see the background. Stop it. There it is. So this is, uh, you're currently seeing here, the background image of the feed. So instead of having a gray window, now you have the webcam studio logo as a background. But if you don't want to have that, you go here in the output menu and you can you can disable that background image oh darn there it is <laughs> I just found out that uh, by default it's not checked but it's showing anyway so if you check it it's gonna show if you uncheck it it won't show so it's up to you but by default it's showing so you know that webcam studio is working or not because you're seeing the logo instead of a gray image as it was before um back to me hi what do we have more oh well, let's see uh i'm gonna stop the desktop because i'm gonna show you some effects so stop the desktop 
go back to my webcam and if you go in GStreamer FX, there are some new effects that were added to the GStreamer framework and uh, I integrated them inside Webcam Studio. So that's the uh, Street TV effect. A little weird. The Ripple TV, which is quite nice. See? I like this one. Really weird. Um, the Warp TV, which is an old one, but I don't know, I kind of missed it in the previous ver previous versions. Uh, we have the Dice TV. And uh, Edge TV. Uh, the Vertical Rev. Okay, the other ones are the same. So I'm going to remove that. Uh, and I added a new effect in... Uh, um, Webcam Studio uh, FX. There, I added a new effect called Zoom Zoom, and this one is kind of zooming in, zooming out the source uh, at a random level. You never know how it's going to show up, but it's kind of neat if you want to do something really weird. And that's about it. And another thing, also, see, I have an iPhone. And I bought for me my iPhone a software called iWeb Camera. If I start this, then it's showing up in my sources automatically. I start it, and then you're gonna see. Just waiting for the connection to be made. Oh darn! I have a problem with my network. Start it again. Oh, darn, I want to show. Something's happening with my network. I kind of have to do it once or twice, and then it starts working. And that's it. Oh, <laughs> I cannot have it. I'm not on Wi Fi. Why did I lost my Wi Fi? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna switch to the other one. I have two networks in my uh, home network, so that could be the issue. So, okay, let's try it again. Waiting. I see it here. I start it. And then, there. This is my uh, iPhone actually broadcasting the, the, the video source. So, if I put it in the top left corner, 160 by... Darn. 120... There it is. So in the top left corner, this is my webcam. So if I show you with my my uh, laptop webcam, this is my iPhone, and this is me on my iPhone at the top. Oh, darn, there. So these are the new features, and if I stop it, there it is. So uh, these are the new features of Webcam Studio 0.56. Uh, released on August the 11th. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy that new layout, those new features here and there. There were some fixes. See the news flash on the website for more details about what was modified or the new features added. And uh, I'm looking, I'm looking out for your comments. So enjoy, have fun, and thank you for uh, uh, trying out Webcam Studio for GNU Linux. Bye.